Guys, welcome back to the channel. S here from SNA's Organite Creations. Now, creating the Triskelion or the Henneke copper coil here. All right, so it's going to be the same as um, these ones here in the large charge plates. But as you can see, there's uh, they're a different size. These ones here in the charge plates are a bit bigger. This is a uh, smaller gauge wire. So this is what I've got here. So thicker gauge and smaller gauge wire. All right, so this one here was made with this small stuff here. And as you can see, it's very neat. Um, you know, give or take, some of them are neater than others. But um, generally, I am pretty good at my copper cores now. I do all these by hand. I don't... Um, the only assistance I get from plies is from bending around that S shape and starting these here. The rest is all done by hand. Because um, I don't want to scuff up the wire as well, make them... You know, there's no marks or nicks in these. Okay, so I want to make them good. So how do you go about making them? So... With this, I'm going to make a couple of, because um, I'm going to make some more charge plates, something like this. These ones here. And, um, yeah, so I need to make a couple more of these ones here for the th with the thicker gauge. Alright, so first things first is the length. So the length you want is, um, you need 52.4 centimetres, okay? So that's what length it is. That's the lost cubit length or the royal cubit length. And that's got... Uh, special energetic properties of itself so that's the length you want okay now regardless you don't have to cut it to that length if you do this configuration copper coil this way in the triskelly and henneke copper coil it's a water element symbol so yeah it's an, an elemental they call it but um yeah it'll still have um the special properties of this uh, specific coil and you can uh, look into this uh, more you know just look up uh, try scaling copper coils um, I believe a couple of websites is the elders three um, you can check their stuff out they've done a lot of work with this dancing with water have done a lot of work with this and as well check out Brian Bisco or Besco so Brian Besco I reckon um, he's done a lot of work with these too and he makes tensor rings and uh, other energy tools as well yeah definitely check it out but um yeah all right so that's generally it for making this now as for the actual um way you do it i can demonstrate it and do a step by step but you know i don't have a tripod here so i'll be doing it in sections like uh pausing and starting so i'll go ahead and do that all right so as you can see i've got my length of copper wire here as stated previously you need it at 52.4 centimeters and um, so these here is all I need to um, create the um, triskelion. So all this is for and the paper tower is for cleaning the wire. Once I cut it, I give it a little scrub with this uh, scrub bud here. It's just uh, like steel wool or it's a stainless steel uh, scrub bud. That's what it's called. And then I just go ahead and give my wire a wipe down. You can see the little bit of black coming off because some of the copper wire, it uh, gets marks on it. So I like these to be as clean as possible uh, to really um, give you a quality finish and a nice shine to your to your piece so um now the next step is to go ahead and fold your wire in half but not exactly in half you want it so one end for example folds just over just over about you know a um, couple centimeters two and a half centimeters sort of thing half inch or so uh, i'll go ahead and do that and i'll show you okay so as you can see here i've got it bent in half but not exactly half so this isn't a specific measurement that you need to overhang it by. It's just a general thing. You make one side slightly longer than the other, okay? So that's it in all its glory. Now what I'm going to do is grab these here pliers and I'm going to grab it in the center, um, sort of like that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that and show you where it's at and then we'll take it from there. All right, so this is all I've done. So it's in the same spot. Now, that the wire that's on top right now is the longer piece of wire. So what you're gonna go ahead and do is bend that right around. Um, so you grab that top wire and bend it around that way there. And then the other one, you go opposite. So you're gonna end up with an S shape, okay? So the, the longest piece, leave on top, grab it like that with the pliers, and then bend it over um, clockwise. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So this is all you're looking for to start your spiral. So for, for me, um, that's it for the pliers for now. So that's it. So one of these wires will be longer than the other, like sides, but that's good because you want that. And um, now we're going to go ahead and just 
start twirling it around clockwise okay around this s depending on which way you have it it doesn't matter but you follow that s around okay so depending but uh, we're going to do it this way because i like to do it that way and uh, i'm going to get a start on that and show you the next step all right guys so you'll come to a point where basically because uh, remember how we started off with one wire longer than the other eventually you're gonna get it so it gets generatively close now how like see how they're very matched now i've done a few of these so i just i just know i guesstimate um that length at the start which wire is longer but eventually you'll come to the point where both wires are the same at this point is when you'd want to change it and start your other spirals okay i'm going to get into that in a sec but what i want to talk about now is how tight you can do it now this one here i'm going to do it tight now i'm going to fix this up it's going to look better in the end but they're going to come out like that there like generally uh pretty tightly coiled versus now this one here's a different charge plate you can see the spacing that i've got so it doesn't matter what you do it just depends on what you are looking for you know so i've done a couple of charge plates like this way and now i've done a couple of charge plates like that way and uh with these little coils here which are going to go on to pendants so i wanted them tight and um yeah so i'm going to do this one the same i'm going to do it nice and tight but you can do it this way here and you've just got to govern like that spacing that goes right around okay like you've got to control that so that is up to you i just want to show you you don't have to do it tight if it is a little bit spaced maybe you have trouble bending the wire then uh, that might be easier for you than keeping it nice and tight but yeah um so what we're going to go ahead and do now so you've reached this point here now what you want to do is get your pliers and just grab a hold of these ends these ends here and you want to curl them in this way here okay so as i believe it would be uh might be counterclockwise uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that and just see um, what I mean and uh, if I've got that correct. Okay, so having it this way here, if you're up to this point, and this is how uh, where you're at now, um, you can see exactly what's going on. So you can see that S in the right way. It's not a backwards S. It's, you know, if you're going to write an S, um, you'd write it this way. So if it's facing that way there, you want to now start to curl it this way here in towards the middle okay same with this one it's exactly the same you do not want to go um underneath okay you don't want to go underneath and roll up this way here then you'd have like two circles here so you want to facing this way you want to roll it up and back okay so it's going to be a counterclockwise rotation for both and yep so i'm going to go ahead and do that so i'll just go ahead and grab this here and i start to do this by hand now depending on which gauge why you've got the strength and the hardness of it and the thickness um it might be hard for you to do and then you might want to just grab your little pliers and leave it in there and maybe wrap it around that for a little bit um you got to play with it you got to find what works for you um i can do it with my hands with this thicker stuff and um i can definitely do it with this thin stuff it's super easy very easily bent this and if you mess up with fine i suggest starting off with very thin wire because then if you mess up it's actually easier to go around and fix where this here is not that forgiving okay so i'm going to go ahead and start these here little loops and bring it into the middle and show you the progress so this is what it looks like so far as i'm winding it up towards the middle now at this point here you go ahead and continue winding these but you always got to keep in mind that you want these here um, to be roughly the same size per um, coil um, yeah so you just got to play with that and roll it up accordingly you might have to wrap this one a bit more or vice versa any any which way any which one because you want to get them as accurate as you can so they look as perfect as you can yeah give or take you know all right guys so i'm going to continue this and we're going to see where i'm at all right now we're getting closer to completion but um, you can see that these ones here are about the same size as each other and they're slightly bigger than this one so what you're going to have to do is i'm going to have to say wrap it around at this center one here yeah well the one with the s to thicken it up make it a bit bigger and as you go into it just going to adjust to make it perfectly as i was trying to say um before now you can see where i'm at now and you can see what i mean now these here are roughly all about the same size so it's just a matter of just moving it around a little bit maybe a little bit around this way grab both of these and move them more around clockwise and also wind them up a little bit inside so you sort of if you know what i mean you use 
half the wire between there and there to go around one way and one to go one up that way so you're half half you know what i mean because these are already perfect so you go around a little bit more that way and around a little bit more with these ones here if you understand but you can figure this all out yourself as you do it and there you go guys it's completion so this is the one we did as you can see it's slightly bigger but i've done it exactly the same like a tight um wrap and uh, you can see the size difference there but um yeah that is it that's all there is to it now this here has energetic properties um all about it i suggest you look into it if you're into um, energy tools and energy um healing organite crystals tensor rings um these here there's all sorts of little vortex generators with copper coils um look up tesla's work nikola tesla he did a lot of coil designs and um you know people like ken roller and um carl wells and wilhelm reich and all that that's all into the energy game and um yeah these things are awesome that we create here very powerful super strong stuff and they just add and complement your uh, already strong organite okay so on charge plates these are perfect and uh that is it guys stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching